Good morning. Um, I am, it is um, Sunday, January 19th, and I am sitting in my car. I'm early, so um, I'm waiting for my lactation to get here. I'm really excited. I'm about to get my sister locks and stuff. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't think I said who my, lact or how I found my lactation on my last video. Um, I asked around, um, I live in a smaller city, so I wasn't sure if um, we would have anyone that was local that would um, be certified because with Sister Locks, you do need a certified consultant. Um, and after all of the research and everything that I did, um, I learned that I do need to look on the Sister Lock website so that I can make sure that I find someone who's certified and um, qualified to do my Sister Locks. I did not prefer to have a um, trainee nothing against them i do understand they have to get their hours i just know that this is my forever permanent hairstyle and i wanted to make sure that i had someone who had a lot of you know heads under their belt that they knew what they were doing and um i did find that my consultant is well known all over the city everybody co goes to her for locks sister locks styling all of that so She's also a cosmetologist, so that makes me feel better too because that means that not only does she know how to do sister locks, but she also knows how to take care um, of my hair. So, and she understands, you know, scalp issues and all of that stuff. So, I'm excited. I I um I have met with her twice, um, and yes, I'm I'm really excited. So, uh, I washed my hair last night. This is the driest my hair has ever been. Um, I just threw it into braids real quick so that it wouldn't be all over the place. Um, it is snowing here. It's like, um, it's not a blizzard or anything, but there's a whole lot of snow outside. It's really cold. So I didn't want to wash it this morning and then come outside with wet hair. So um, washed it last night and threw it into quick little floppy braids and i am ready to get started again i'm really excited um it's crazy because it was like hard to sleep and everything just because i kept waking up thinking like what my hair was gonna look like so i don't know um i know extra but um but yeah so i'm i'm, I'm really excited and um hopefully it doesn't take longer than two days i have heard some people talking about taking anywhere from two to five days I don't have time for that um after talking with my consultant she kind of let me know that you know she's she's been doing this for over you know 10 years um 10 plus years she is um has a online scheduling system so that makes it really easy I actually already went on and scheduled out um all of my four to six week reties all the way up until I think nine months so I just want to make sure I have my spot um and so I'm all scheduled up I'm all ready to go so there should be no reason why I should miss any reties or anything like that unless I need to reschedule for some reason um I did try to schedule a lot of them around vacation times and all of that so that I know that I'm all set and my hair will look good my hair is kind of low density so I feel like I might be okay with having some new growth in between but we'll see because i don't know yet um but other than that i'm excited i'm ready to get them done and i will throw some pictures in here and hop back on later when we get started um also one thing that i'm kind of nervous about is um i, I did really well with my um test locks um, I had them for three weeks and then on my fourth week of having them I because I, I don't style my hair a whole lot anymore I'll put in some twists wear those for a couple days take them out wear a twist out for a couple days wash start over and so um, I had a bunch of things going on in this last four weeks and so I was changing my hair and doing different stuff and there were about three times where I totally forgot they were in my hair and took my wide tooth comb combing through my hair all of that and then all of a sudden i'm getting caught and i'm like what is that and then i was like oh i got these test locks in so um I, when i did my last because i have washed my hair twice and when i did my last wash i felt three back there and i started out with like eight so 
I'm not sure how that's going to go, but I watched a couple videos um, on a few other people who had situations like that. Locticians just basically told them um, it's okay and that they will um, take note of that when they put their um, locks in and then they'll know what rotations to use. So we'll see um, what my lactation has to say about it. Um, I feel so bad because I know that I could have done better to remember, but it's really hard to remind yourself that you have these tiny things back here in your head with a head full of loose hair. Um, no excuses, but I'm just saying. So um, hopefully that'll be, that won't be a, a bad conversation because I know I'm gonna have to bring that up. Um, but other than that, I, I did pretty well. So um, we'll see what she has to say. So I am officially sister locked um, after two days, um, we did eight hours a day, 16 hours total. I have 426 locks um, or sister locks and my head is, it's a little sore, but only from, you know, all the manipulation, but for the most part, I feel great. Um, I love my lactation, like love her. She is so cool, um, very close to my house. So that was very convenient, about 10, 15 minutes away. Um, and yeah, um, it was awesome. And then my daughter was a little sick and I'm a little sick too, but um, my daughter had to sit in there for the last three or four hours, but we were fine. Um, so it was, it was good. Um, I'm excited about the journey and I plan to make you know, more videos just so that I can document it for myself. Um, and, you know, if anybody else wants to see the process or, you know, how my hair develops over time. Um, so what else is there? My hair, the longest um, area of my hair was about um, 10 inches. Um, I have a couple little short ones in here, um, but that's, for the most part, the average length is about 10 inches. This is probably the longest it's going to look because um, I'm sure some shrinkage is gonna come once it starts to get wet. Um, I was already told, you know, don't don't put anything in it. So I haven't done any of that. Um, I did wash my hair with uh, the black soap um, to get a real clean clarifying wash um, the night before. And yeah, so I'm, I'm excited. She said my hair was pretty easy to part through and um separate and everything my grid is in here so i can see everything's very clear right now it's a little stiff just because it's you know just got done but um other than that i'm happy i um i love it so i'm excited and i can't wait to see what um, my hair is going to develop into over time and yeah so i think i'm just going to put in a couple of um flat twist just so I can get a little bit of, um, you know, texture in it for tomorrow. Um, I'm probably staying home tomorrow since everybody in this house is sick. So that'll give my hair one more day to kind of curl up. Um, but other than that, I'm all done. Like I said, 16 hours, two days. Um, the only reason it took two days is because she works eight hours a day. Um, and she's a cosmetologist, so she knows how to take care of scalp hair and all of that. And that's her main job. Um, it's not like a side hustle or anything. So she um, does hair for it for eight hours and then her shop closes. And so that's, you know, that's how it went. So I was fine with that because um, it's, you know, the weekend. But other than that, I am super excited. I got my kit and everything is downstairs or else I would show it to you. But um, I got my, actually, I'm going to go get it. So pause. Okay, I'm back. So. I got my kit. Um, I have my little rubber bands, um, my starter shampoo. And then she did give me these little clips 
because there are some areas where the locks are really small so when I band my hair to wash or work out or whatever um in case they don't fit in the rubber bands or like fall out then I can um clip them together and then this is just a little helpful tips guide that I got in there another quick tips card and then I got my um my little birth certificate paperwork to mail in and I will be sending this in tomorrow. Um, I'm glad that my um, sister lockversary will be January 20th because that's just an easy day to remember. I'm not really a, I don't remember dates and anniversaries and all that stuff. So this is exciting. So I'm done. And I look forward to sharing more videos with everybody. 426 locks. Can you believe it? I thought my hair was too thin to get that many. So I'm I'm kind of excited about that because I feel like I'm gonna have a full head of hair and you know, a couple of years it's gonna fill out and it's gonna be really pretty. So, um, so yeah, that's it. But I'm about to um, twist it up and see what we look like in the morning. So see y'all later.